If you start thinking about what could happen, you'll slow down. It's almost like you're in a bubble. The noise all goes away, the time slows way down. You know, you don't think about what could happen. If you start thinking about what could happen, you'll slow down. When I was growing up, I would get a favorite race driver. He might be killed two weeks later. So I get another favorite race driver. He get killed two or three weeks later. One out of seven drivers was killed every year. My dad used to tell me that they're going to bring you back home in a body bag. Drivers in those days kind of accepted getting hurt. There were no paramedics. Drivers would stop their car and run over and try to get somebody out of a burning car. Gasoline explodes. Gasoline is a bomb. We can't have this happen again. I saw an ad at the medical school asking for volunteers to work the speedway. One of the ambulances was really a hearse. It had an oxygen tank and a gurney, and that was it. You need qualified, capable people. You can actually do more harm than good out here. I looked up, and there's this big puddle that I thought was oil. And then I realized that I'd slid in blood. Rutherford is in trouble. The car flips upside down. You've got 60 minutes to get him into surgery. The first response was to bring in the local news helicopter. We had to literally stuff him into the helicopter. The promoters, they didn't want to spend any money on the safety. You were not the macho driver by asking all those things, you know. An incredible accident of both cars flipping. This is a non-survivable injury. I remember thinking that I'm not sure I want to do this anymore. Things were being learned that might be applicable to the auto industry. We had a concussion protocol way back before any other sport. I couldn't be any more proud of the system we have and the safety team. It's unbelievable to see this today. There's fatalities in every sport. You're not going to make it totally safe. That's part of the allure. 